Hello and welcome to the Status Report highlight for the 29th of August 2017. This week we're just going to recap the DayZ dev team at Gamescom, the Gamescom demo, and all the excitement that surrounds it. Just an FYI, there is no new footage yet in 1080p 60fps, but it is being worked on. So let's kick things off with lead producer Eugen. The Gamescom demo has been an amazing experience for all of us, being able to finally get direct feedback on 0.63 and talk to our old school players or see the new ones playing it for the first time has made Eugen more than a little happy. After getting this day's E potentially ready tech-wise, we had a game to share and talk about. It was exciting and exhausting. We are looking forward to sharing more. At the same time, Eugen have some more less exciting news for us. As the build we brought to Gamescom would still take weeks to get ready for public testing, we will not be releasing the demo for Steam. Ah, we really wanted to, but it just no longer makes sense to spend time polishing a very small part of the whole beta experience. Feedback has been overwhelmingly positive on the floor, and Eugen does believe we are hitting the right notes on what beta should feel like. Rather than releasing a demo, our goal is to get the beta 0.63 update out as soon as possible, in its entirety on Experimental Branch, when ready. That does not mean it's going to be rushed. We do believe that the only way out of this hellhole is a really good game that all of us want to play. We are going to focus on the combat a little while longer to incorporate some of the good feedback that we got, as well as features missing from the demo that were cut before it was used on the show floor. There is still a lot of details to implement, or context to convert, in that regard. Since we have only returned from Gamescom floor on Sunday late night, we plan to have an internal post-mortem first, and get the team together to plan out our next month in detail. However, as you know, the scope of beta is huge. And even though we have developed a lot of these features during the same time as technology, it's a painful process, but the game is finally there. We are going to need a lot of balance in runs, polishing and bug fixing before we are happy to put it out. We will be reading the feedback on the details available and try to share with you more as we recover from the trip. Now let's move on to lead designer Peter, who says, Gamescom 2017 has ended, so let me write down my impressions. At first, knowing all the stuff which was completely missing from the demo, or just in early prototype state, and all the remaining limitations we still need to figure out, I was feeling a bit insecure about the quality of the demo build that we brought to the showcase at Gamescom booth. I'm a person who likes to have things in order, and as polished as possible. Which leads to situations where I'm just not pleased enough with the current state of the game, so naturally, I was very curious how it's all going to turn out in the end. Now we got a bit of juicy information on what was presented in the demo. New rocks, roads and their decals with parallax mapping. New character with better body proportions and heads with a lifespan, containing growing shavable beards, washable bloody hands with skinning bodies. New character controller and animation system with very responsive and fluent character movement, coupled with the physics of better collision, allowing for smoother traversal through environment, yes, even running down and up the hill. New movement sets for turning, injured, falling character as well as carrying heavy items around in hands. New gestures with the ability to move while using them. New stamina system, differentiating character movement speed depending on their load. New melee combat system with attack and hit impacts animation. New ranged combat with extended weapon handling and aiming with new sway and recoil. New intuitive way to perform actions with items in hands even while moving, crafting new ones even directly from the world, and interactions with the environment without pixel hunting. New HUD and inventory with clear layout and resized cargo and item sizes. New voice communication including personal radio, megaphone and public address system. New advanced placing which will be used for precise placement of specific items, i.e. base building new electricity system with cable reels to reach far places. Hmm, interesting. And much, much more. There were thousands of gamers and content creators looking forward to get their hands on the first iteration of what DayZ will become in beta. It was an interesting mixture of people that never played DayZ before, ones who put it down waiting patiently for beta, and those who still play DayZ regularly and spend hundreds to thousands of hours in game. I've spent a great amount of time observing how people play the game and discuss with them about what they like on the new DayZ. What would they still like to see improved, and why? With this approach, I gained a ton of feedback. It was very positive to see and hear that we are actually on the right track, and people do like what they see, and especially how it plays. Bear in mind nothing is set in stone yet, and everything could be changed, especially after valuable feedback we received. It will allow us to refine and design a bit more, so in its final form, DayZ could unleash its full potential, and allow people to enjoy what DayZ is well known for, an emergent gameplay full of interactions, which creates stories filled with unique experience and leaving strong memories in an atmospheric world. And let's finish things off with brand manager Martin, who says, As both Eugen and Peter mentioned, Gamescom was really a positive experience for us. 
The very stressful couple of weeks before we left the office and travelled to Cologne were definitely worth the wait, as we've been met with a very warm welcome at Gamescom and also fulfilled our mission to gather preliminary feedback on an early 0.63 build. Lastly, Martin says, since we decided not to make the demo available on Steam, we'll see if we can at least organise a live stream where you can see live gameplay and ask us questions. Our pre-Gamescom livestream was a bit of a technical failure, so we need to spend more time planning the livestream, but we have a decent combat plan to make it all happen. Oh, it's all very exciting, boys and girls. We're getting closer and closer to 0.63, hopefully within the next couple of months, but of course that's just purely a guess from me. No new high-quality footage, as we've said earlier. That's a bit of a shame, but it will come soon. For now, I'm just going to imagine what it's going to be like, having bloody hands, a nice beard, and living out my post-apocalyptic survival hobo life. Of course, leave a comment in that comment section below if you want to discuss anything. Leave a like as it really helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell just to let you know when I put a video live. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. Oh, also there's uh, there's Facebook. And if you want to back me, even as little as a pound, everything helps on Patreon. All those links are in the description also. And as always, I recommend you read the staff support in full yourselves for the most amount of information that they hold. And I'll see you peeps next time.